Hello, and welcome to Larry Has Opinions. Today, I'm talking about Colson Whitehead's upcoming release, Harlem Shuffle. I received a free copy from the publisher in exchange for an honest review. The publication date for this book is the 14th of September. In Harlem Shuffle, we mostly follow Ray Carney, a furniture salesman who lives in Harlem in New York. The story develops itself between the end of the 50s and the 60s. And Carney, despite having a decent job and being a family man, also follows his father's footsteps in being involved in some unsavory activities and being close to some of the less desirable members of the community. So the book explores both sides of his personality, the above ground Carney with a nice front chop and the less respectable one, as well as a lot of insights into his personal life, his childhood and his background that explains how he got to where he is today. There are quite a few things that I liked about this book. First of all, I really respected how Whitehead, after winning the Pulitzer Prize twice, is not afraid to continue to experiment with different genres. And in this case, he's just going for a full-on noir crime novel. In the vein of his earlier works where he was writing science fiction and even like zombie post-apocalyptic stories. And if you've followed my channel, you know how I feel about uh, genre elitism and that sort of thing. So I really like how he's not afraid of pushing the boundaries in that respect. Whitehead's writing is also consistently effective and he really manages to depict the Harlem of that time with such vivid and compelling strokes that really make you feel like you're witnessing the environment and the story as if you were part of that reality. He also manages to convey the day-to-day -day lives of the people living in that community, as well as a lot of the background for what was relevant at the time, from the contrast between Black Harlem and the whiter Manhattan a few blocks down the road with its aspect of police brutality, still relevant today in many aspects, and so on. But also the classism and racism or colorism, if you like, within the black community itself and how that impacts um, Carney's life directly. There are tons of references to actual places like the Hotel Theresa or personalities like singers or VIPs at the time, as well as events like some of the riots that happened during those days that really make the book stand out as a love letter to Harlem, as I believe he's described it himself. But unfortunately, that's pretty much where the enjoyment of the book for me ended. I'm not necessarily sure what I was expecting, but I was hoping to see a relatively fast-paced or medium-paced narrative with this criminal element to the story, with these heists and a lot of tension, high stakes, with a really compelling background of actual socio-economic and political reality of New York at the time. But I feel like neither side of the story was fully realized. So if you were more interested in the socio-political element of the story, this is likely to leave you slightly underwhelmed, I would think, because that does remain always just in the background. And that's probably the way Whitehead had intended it to be. But also, crucially, if you were more excited about the heist element of the story or the thriller side of things where you were expecting really tense story with high stakes and a page turning plot that really left me underwhelmed as well. The book overall felt quite aimless to me, like Whitehead takes us in one direction and then pulls back, takes us in a different direction, then pulls back again and again and again. And in that process then takes several tangents exploring other characters or other events that have relatively little to do with the overall story. And I never really felt invested enough to, to care about any of them to a significant extent. Carney as a character was very well realized, I would say, and very compelling. But with a few exceptions, a lot of the other characters, and there's quite a few, felt quite shallow uh, in their development. It would be really unfair for me to say this is a boring book because there's quite a lot happening. There's these criminal heists that we follow and there's a lot of different characters that we get to explore. So there's always something happening. But at the same time, I found that Whitehead almost keeps you at arm's length from his characters where I never really felt 
fully invested in the story, in the characters or anything that was happening. So I really have to say that I struggled to finish the book. So I have to say, overall, the book left me quite underwhelmed. Given his skill as an amazing writer, I had pretty high expectations and I'm afraid those were not really met. I never really felt particularly invested in the story or the characters. So for that reason, my rating for this book is 5 out of 10. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Even if you are interested in reading this book, maybe this review will help you figure out if it might be for you or not. If you want to discuss this book further or anything else, join our Discord. The link is in the description box and I'll see you the next time.